Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a rundown of the four coach perfumes for women that are out just now. If you're new here, then welcome to my little world on the internet, it's all about perfumes. Don't forget to subscribe if you love perfumes as much as me and you wanna join my little perfume world and do follow me on Instagram. I am uploading little perfume videos on there now, so go check it out if you haven't already. So the PR team from Coach kindly sent me the latest um, release from them, Floral Blush, and that's kind of what made me think, oh, I wanna do the really, um, a perfume review of all of the coach perfumes so that's kind of what triggered this if you are a regular viewer then hi welcome back um you'll notice my hair slightly different today that's because i am going to glastonbury this week and i've been practicing my festival hair got some blue in there feeling a bit creative festival vibes and yeah just thought i'd let you know so without further ado let's get into the perfume video so the signature fragrance of coach coach the fragrance came out in 2016 and it is an eau de parfum and it's in a bottle just like this except it's um sort of white and cream this is predominantly a sweet floral perfume as are pretty much all of them you've got raspberry rose and pear so the rose mixes really well with the pear almost like a jimmy choo vibes the raspberry makes it sweet and young and then there's a musk and a suede heart which helps make it quite sort of almost like cowboy vibes i've noticed in some of the advertising like a lot of the coach jewelry is using like suede with pink that brown and pink vibes kind of like american um horses leather but pretty girl like that's kind of the vibes i get from coach i think it is an american brand so that's probably where i'm getting it from so this is a lovely perfume for someone who's looking for something light and sweet or perhaps like a teenager who just wants something like nice, easy going. Because it's an eau de parfum, it has pretty good lasting power and silage. Not amazing, but just kind of ordinary and what you'd expect for the price. The prices are quite reasonable. And as always guys, the links are down below for where you can buy them and I'll find you them at a good price and leave the links for y'all. But for this one, I think it's that suede cashmere mask that helps it stay, that makes it sophisticated and stops it being just all about the raspberry. So in 2016, they also released an eau de toilette version. Now this has quite different fragrance notes. It's predominantly the rose, but the raspberry is gone. And it's been replaced by a much softer citrus lemon. The pear's still there. So instead of that sweetness gourmand of the raspberry, you get a fresh lemon in the immediate sort of first spray. And then it sort of fades into that musky, rosy, with the pear just keeping it a bit more innocent and slightly sweet. So this is definitely a, I guess, pared down version of the original. It's lighter, it's fresher, it's not as sweet. Perhaps if you were in a really hot climate, this would be good for you. Or you could use this to layer on top of the Eau de Parfum during the day. So in 2018, we then got Coach Floral Eau de Parfum. Now, contrary to what you'd expect, yes, there are loads of flowers in here, but the main note that I get here is the pineapple. There's loads of pineapple in here. So this is a really nice tropical summer fragrance. Fragrance. The rose is back, but it's mixed with jasmine and gardenia, and then the musk is back in the heart. So it really has those nods and those similarities to the original Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. But adding this pineapple along with some like lemon and lime bergamot in the initial hit really makes this feel like a sort of beach cocktail really fun fragrance this is maybe my favorite i'm not sure um but yeah really fun great for holidays and summer and then lastly we have coach floral blush um as with all it's the same shape as all the other ones and um, they all have these cute key rings on which will come off and then you could use these I don't know, on your keys or whatever you wanted. And the packaging is this really lovely um, pink, very girly with these like almost cherry blossom type style on it. It is an eau de parfum like its predecessors but unlike its predecessors it's much more simple in its ingredients so there's only three fragrance notes in here it's goji berry peony and then a white wood base 
So basically the notes that you get are the peony and the goji berry. So I wouldn't say that this was particularly sweet, like goji berry isn't sweet like a raspberry or a strawberry, it's more of a tart sweet. So it allow it complements the peony and it allows the peony to be the star of the show, whereas peony on its own can be a bit weak. I think the goji berry helps bring this out. Um, I'm wearing it now, it smells really feminine, um, definitely not sort of a light, light perfume, but definitely not heavy either, somewhere in, in the middle, I think this would be good for work, the office, it's feminine without being overly gourmand, there's no vanilla or anything, so it's not sugary sweet, um, it's got that tartness, which I think makes it a little bit fun and zesty, but then having the peony as the heart, you know, I love peonies, and it just makes it, like, floral, but without being, um, very flowery, like potpourri, it's like a fresh garden floral, mixed with the goji berries, um, yeah, it works for me, and I think the packaging is cute with the pink, and um, yeah, if you don't have a coach bag, then I guess you could put these on your bag and sort of pretend like you have a coach bag. <laughs> so that's my rundown of the four coach signature perfumes. Let me know if you have any of these, if you've tried them, what you think. Um, I'd love to know, and do let me know any fragrance review requests you have. I'm always trying to do your requests. And as I said, everything will be linked down below and do subscribe for more of the same. But that's it, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon, bye!